But what I do know is, is that we do say this at a lot of homegoing services, a lot of funerals, but God is a God that is on time. And there is a time for everything, as in the scripture. So I read. There is a time for everything and a season for every activity under the heavens. A time to be born and a time to die. A time to plant and a time to uproot. A time to kill and a time to heal. A time to tear down and a time to build. A time to weep and a time to laugh. A time to mourn and a time to dance. A time to scatter stones and a time to gather them. A time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing. A time to search and a time to give up. A time to keep and a time to throw away. A time to tear and a time to mend. A time to be silent and a time to speak. A time to love, a time to hate a time for war, and a time for peace. Hallelujah. Here endeth the word of our God and the scripture for this morning. Hallelujah. Who's ready to worship? Amen. Who is ready to worship? Hallelujah. God, I look to you. I won't be overwhelmed. Give me vision to see things like you do. I want to have the same vision of God. Amen? Amen? The same vision that God sees with, I want to have that same vision. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. God, I look to you. I won't be overwhelmed. Give me vision.
this service. And as you stand, just lift your hands right where you are. Just, don't just want to praise you. Just lift your hands and acknowledge the presence of God. And just worship. Just worship. Just be thanks. Just be thanks. Just worship. Just worship. Please, God. Please, Lord, in this place. We give Him the praise. We give Him the praise. In Jesus' name. yourself but I just want you to just look at somebody and uh, at least with your eyes and s smile with them they may not be able to see the smile but still smile praise the Lord praise the Lord praise the Lord I welcome those of you that we met at the park on the States Great Avenue First time here, and uh, we welcome you to our second service. I'm going to ask you, please, if you use your Bibles, because we want to be familiarized with the scriptures that I'm going to be sharing. This morning, the topic is on the second coming of Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. The second coming of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise be to God. Amen. The scripture I'll be reading from is 1 Thessalonians 13, uh, 4, verse 4, verse 13. But I would not have you to be ignorant. Please turn your own Bibles and look. But I would not have you to be ignorant, brethren, concerning them which are asleep, that you saw not even as others which have no hope. Glory to God. But I... For if you believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so them also which sleep in Jesus will God bring with him. For this we say unto you by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord shall, also, shall not prevent them which are asleep. Praise be to God. Can you run with me, people there? Praise God. Thank you, Lord. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain, hallelujah, shall be caught up together, somebody say caught up, together with them in the clouds, and to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we, so shall we ever be with the Lord. The second coming of Jesus Christ. People are questioning from the early church days until now whether or not there will be a resurrection of the dead. And sometimes we do meet religious people coming around, knocking on our doors and telling us scriptures and that sometimes because we don't know the scriptures, we don't know how to answer them. But I want to you please when you come, especially those of you who are new, um, Learn something from what I'm going to be saying. Bring a notepad and write down what you're going to be hearing. There are always people questioning whether or not there will be a resurrection of the dead. The question is, will, will they, the, the dead be raised? Glory to God. Paul answered that question. He said, I will not have you ignorant. Now, in the First Corinthians chapter 15, verses 12 to 15, Paul said, if Christ be preached that he rose from the dead, how say some of you that there is no resurrection of the dead? But if there be no resurrection of the dead, then is Christ not risen? And if Christ be not risen, then is our, our preaching vain, and your faith is also vain. Yea, and we are found false witnesses of God, because we have testified to God, of God, that he raised the Christ whom he raised not. If so be that he, the dead rise not. It's important that we understand because if there is a subject 
we all need to know about now is about the second coming of Jesus Christ. Amen. We need to hear it. Amen. The early church, as they travel and they see one another, they always greet them and say, the Lord is coming. For Peter had to deal with this issue when he was on earth. Glory to God. When he was alive. He wrote in 2 Peter chapter 3, verses 3 and 5, Knowing this first, glory to God, that there shall come in the last days scoffers, they'll be walking after their own lust, and they'll be saying, where is the promise of his coming? For since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning. There were people who were preaching false doctrine then, as they are doing now. Erroneous doctrine has always been existed, and the church need to be aware of this. Glory to God. In 2 Peter 2, 17 to 19, and their words will eat my God. You talk about a word that is able to eat out inside of individuals. He said their word will eat as does a conqueror, of whom is Emmanuel and Philetus, who concerning the truth they have heard, saying that the resurrection is already past. They overthrew the faith of some. Nevertheless, he said, the foundation of God stands sure. Yeah. Having the seal, the Lord knows them that are his. Let everyone that name the name of Christ yeah. depart from iniquity. Notice the injunction of the word. Everyone who's naming the name of Christ, don't live like the devil. Yeah. Depart from iniquity. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter what anybody say. You cannot go with people saying it's the word of God. There are attitudes towards the, the intellectual attitudes towards the resurrection, just as it, is, it, as it is now. In Acts 17, 18 to 20, there were certain philosophers of the Epicureans and of the Stoics encountered Paul, and some say, what will this babbler say? Others said, he seemed to be set forth of strange gods because he preached unto them Jesus and the resurrection. This was their attitude. They mocked him, and some of us don't want to be mocked. They mocked him and brought him into the, the courthouse, the Areopagus, saying, may we know what this new doctrine whereof thou speakest is, for thou bringest strange dark things to our ears, we would know but therefore what these things mean. Praise be to God. What were the strange things? It was about the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Believers, we must know about the resurrection. In Jesus' time, as well as now, the Sadducees did not believe in the resurrection. In Paul's day, in the, the Pharisees believed not in the resurrection, as we have seen in Acts 23 verse 8. Jesus taught the, doc, taught the doctrine of the resurrection and he silenced the Sadducees. Did they really believe? They continue with their stupidness even in the time after Jesus ascended on high. As we've seen in Acts 23 verse 8. This is how the Sadducees came up to Jesus. They came to him which say there is no resurrection. Matthew 22 verse 23. There is no resurrection. Hallelujah. They asked Jesus, trying to trick him, not because they want to know. There are people who try to trick you when they come to you. Yeah. Glory to God. Matthew 22, verse 23, verse 24. They came up to him and they, they came to him saying, glory to God. Matthew 20, saying, Master, Moses said, if a man die, having no children, his brother should marry his wife and raise up seed unto his brother. Glory to God. Now there were with us seven brothers. And the first, when he had married a wife, he deceived, he died. And having no issue, no children, he left his wife without, he left his wife unto his brother. Likewise, the second also died, and the third unto the seventh. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Last of all, 
the woman died also. Yes. Praise God. Can I have a little water, please? Praise God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Last of all, the woman died. Therefore, in the resurrection, whose wife shall she be of the seven? For they all had her. Oh, praise God. Jesus answered and said unto them, You do hear, not knowing the scripture or the power of God. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Can you continue for me, please? Praise Amen. God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Next verse, please. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. If you have your Bible. For in the resurrection. Thank you, Lord. They neither marry nor are given in marriage. For are as angel of God in heaven. But as touching the resurrection of the dead, have you not read? Have you not read that which was spoken unto you by God, saying, I am the God of Abraham, I'm the God of Isaac, and I'm the God of Jacob. Praise God. God is not the God of the dead, but he's the God of the living. Amen. In this world, we need procreation. We, have, we, we get married and we have a physical relationship in the resurrection. You don't need it. We don't need to procreate. Some people say, Lord, if that's the case, I've been married for 40 years. I don't want to go there then. Mm. Oh, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. There you won't be glory. I didn't say you're not going to have your wife or your husband. Please don't, don't tell anyone I said that. The question was to trick Jesus. Now the Old Testament scriptures taught this doctrine. Job 14 verses 13 and 15. Praise God. Job asked the question, if a man die, shall he live again? Job answered the question by saying, all the days of my appointed time will I wait until my change come. Yes. Praise God. In chapter 19, 23 to 27, this is what he said, I know that my Redeemer lives. Yes. At the appointed time will I wait until my change come. Yes. Glory to God. I know that my Redeemer liveth. Yes. Hallelujah. And that he shall stand Glory to God. Job 19 verses 23 to 27. That at my appointed time will I wait until my change comes. Praise God. The fact that Jesus rose from the dead proved that there is a resurrection. Amen somebody? Amen. Amen somebody. The fact that Jesus rose from the dead proved that there is a resurrection. Will be a resurrection. Will the dead be raised and how? Jesus Christ will return in the air and will issue a shout. 1 Thessalonians 4, verse 16. Praise God. Hallelujah. 1 Thessalonians 4. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a what? How will they be raised? The Lord will descend from heaven. Oh, glory to God. With a shout. With the voice of the archangel and with the trump of God and the dead. So how will the dead be raised? God, Jesus will descend amen. from heaven yes. with a shout. Yes. Oh, amen. amen. So say shout somebody. Shout. The dead shall be raised and we which are alive shall remain, shall be caught up. Yes. Amen. amen. Will he put the elements back together? Great. Believers, will he, you know. This does not mean that you will put the elements of the body together again. Resurrection is not reconstruction. Resurrection is not reconstruction. Resurrection is a, the, the believers being from dust, they will be caught up together. Amen. Let's clarify that. Amen. In Daniel 12, it's up there, verses 2 and 3. Many of them, glory to God. This was a message God gave Daniel. He said, but many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth, hello, that sleep in the dust of the earth, shall what? Awake. Shall what? Awake. Shall awake. awake. Some to? And some to? Shame and everlasting content. Amen. That's the word of God. 
And they that shall be wise, wise mean that they prepare themselves. Yeah. Even at school, they stay like Christians. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Praise be to God. In college, they are Christians. Yeah. In the home, they are Christians. Yeah. Many of them will shine like stars. Oh, praise be to God. And Daniel 12, 8 and 9, he said, I heard, but I understood not. Then said I, O oh my Lord, what shall be the end of these things? And he said, Daniel, go thy way. In other words, die. Yes, thy God. Go thy way. It means die. I what else? For the words are closed up to and sealed till when? Till the end of time. Yes. Praise God. Amen. Now God has God has given us evidence of His word. He has given us the truth. We don't have to be deceived. No. We don't need to be deceived. Praise be to God. It was told to Daniel, go your way. Yes. I have given you from die. Praise be to God. Hallelujah. Oh, praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Glory to God. Hear what the word of God say. Amen. Daniel 12, 13. Till the end be, for thou shalt rest. Verse 13, yes. and you shall stand in your lot at the, the end of the days. Yes. Believers, yes. some of us don't realize that whatever we do for God is a sacrifice. Yes. Even coming here, lead worship, it's a sacrifice. Yes. Now, you will receive your reward. Yes. God said to Daniel, you shall stand in your lot. Yes. In other words, nobody can take what you have done. Yes. No, sir. Nobody. Your reward is yours. Yes. Don't complain. What you do something for the Lord. Don't complain. Whatever you do, do it as a sacrifice. Amen. We sound to God this earth, this half morning. We bring sacrifice of Oh, two people are hearing me. We bring We bring Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Isaiah. 26, I think it's verse 13 or 19, Glory. Glory to God. But this is what it said. The prophets and the Old Testament believers believe. It said, thy dead men shall live. Notice the comma. Thy dead men, glory to God. Verse 14. Thy dead men, full comma, they shall No, no, it's verse, it's, go down please. No, verse 19. Praise be to God. Thank you. Thy dead men shall live. Shall live. Amen. Then it say, together with my, dead together with my, dead with my, dead you see this is assurance. Amen. They shall rise. Yeah. Then the, the prophet started to sing. Awake and sing. Who should sing? He that dwell in the dust. For the dew is as the dew of the herbs. And the herds shall cast out. Amen. So when they cast out, can you imagine I was telling the believers this morning, have you ever seen a, a swarm of bees? And they're, they're, they're flying. You hear noise, don't you? Yeah. That's just bees, yeah? Mm -hmm. I, 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 sometimes I have to deal with some flies when I'm going to bed in the summer. One of them might escape and come through the window. And I have to deal with them big time. Because the noise he makes that one fly, not two. Amen. Glory to God. Can you imagine the believers being caught up from Singapore, China, Africa, America, Australia, Britain, Europe on a whole? Can you imagine the believers being caught up? My God, there is going to be a violent shaking of this planet Earth. The prophet wrote, yet once more will I shake the heavens and I will shake the earth. God will not go to the cemetery and say, come on, Louise, come baby girl. No, sir. You've got to get rid of some unsafe people on top of you. Now, the bees can make so much noise. Can you imagine what will happen at the resurrection? Hallelujah. Glory to God. He said, thy dead men shall sing yes. together with my dead body. No, they shall live together with my dead body shall they arise. Awake and sing. Yes. Yes. Glory to God. 
The song will be the same. Praise God. Hallelujah. The song will be the same. Praise God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And the song will be the same. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Paul said the resurrection of the human body is like the growing of a plant from a seed. Amen. Amen. Praise God. The flower that is the seed that is planted is not the seed that grew up. It died first. Yes. Praise God. I have no problem believing the resurrection. Have you? Amen. Christian will receive the glorified body. Amen. Jesus died and he died when he came back to the darkness. He said to them, feel him. Yes. Touch me. Handle me. Believers, when we raise up, there will be no confusion about who we are. No, Jesus went on the Mount of Transfiguration. He took with him who? Peter, James, and John. Guess who turned up? Moses and Elias. And they, were, they did not ask any questions and who is that? They knew them straight away. Amen. When you raise with the brethren, you will see sister, your mom and no, uh, uh, Joni. Hallelujah. <laughs> Glory to God. You will see your mom and Joni, sister Joni. You will recognize her. Amen. The body will not be compromised again. No. Because Jesus is coming back for his church. Amen. It will be a glorified church. Paul said it is the body is sown, 1 Corinthians 15, in, a, in, a, in this honor, but it will be raised in honor. Yes. It will be changed from mortal to immortality. Yes. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Yes. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Praise the Lord. Yes. Praise the Lord. Yes. Praise the Lord. Yes. Praise the Lord. Yes. The believers will be the first resurrection. Revelation 20, 1 to 6 tells us that there will be a second resurrection. I want to be in the first resurrection. Hallelujah. The psalmist said, and I belong, I belong to the first resurrection. Get it? I belong to the first resurrection. And such the second death had no power. Glory to God. Hallelujah. When Jesus returned to the hair, he will call to himself only those who are saved through faith. Those who lived for him and waited for him. Yes. He went to Lazarus' tomb and he said, Lazarus, come forth. Yes. He will call the church. Yes. Glory to God. Yes. Believers, those who laugh at us now, yes. they will cry. Yes. One God that morning when they hear on the news, when you turn on the news, yes, amen. glory to God. It won't be about President Bush or Boris Johnson giving his, what do you call it, direction? What do you call it, honey? Guidelines. guidelines. No, sir. There will be no guidelines. Praise God. You know, there will be no guidelines. I said, number one item on the news, cemeteries. They will show you reporters at cemeteries showing that somebody came last night. Somehow they have been an upheaval. Yes. Yes. Glory. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. There will be an upheaval. Are you following me? Yes. In the cemetery, and there will be in Singapore, the reporters are, we can see everything that is happening all over the world. One time. Somebody will risk the, the, they won't even show Coney Hill. <laughs> because Coney Hill is just a small compared to go to the big cemetery. Paul and I, when Paul's uncle died a few weeks ago, we buried him in Manchester. And it was one massive, massive. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus said in St. John 5, 28 and 29. Marvel not that I say unto you. St. John 5, 28 and 29. Marvel not that I say unto you, the hour is coming. Which all, all, all. Glory to God. Little boys, little girls. Young boys, young girls. Big boys, big girls. Moms, dad. Hallelujah. Praise God. 
great grandchildren, all that are in the grave shall hear his voice. Run with me, please. And they shall come forth. Notice it say come forth. The word come forth there means a violent call to gravity because gravity holds us down here. Yes, sir, we are dust when we were created. Dust when we shall, re we shall return to dust. The little boy was playing hide and seek with his sister and uh, he went under the bed, his mother's bed, to hide from his sister. And uh, whilst he was there and the sister couldn't find him, he relented and he was coming out. And he came out, Sister Maldine, and when he came out, he was full of dust. He said, Mommy, um, how did God create man? She said, from the dust. What will happen when man, man, man dies? She said, he'll go back to the dust. She said, Mommy, somebody's either coming or going from under the bed. She said, somebody's, hallelujah, glory to God, hallelujah, praise God. He said, Mommy, somebody's coming or going. There are three unique sounds from 1 Thessalonians 4, 13. There's three unique sounds that will involve in this event. I want to know what will happen. I want to know what I will prepare him for. The Lord himself, glory to God, hallelujah, shall shout, yes. praise God, hallelujah, glory to God. Verse 14, run with me please. For we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so them also which sleep in Jesus will God bring with him. Run please, quickly. For this I say unto you, Hallelujah. Glory. By the word of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain until the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. For the Lord himself shall not. Come. The Lord himself. Where is Jesus now? He is in glory. He shall descend first from, from heaven with a what? Shout with the voice of the archangel. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And the trump of God shall sound. Amen. Praise God. There will be a trumpet sound. Amen. Now there is something special about a trumpet. When a man blow a trumpet, glory to God, it's a loud instrument. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Oh, praise God. Amen. Jesus Christ will give a shout of command. Just as he went by the tomb of Lazarus and said, Lazarus, come forth. Praise God. He will say, come forth. Amen. All that are in the grave shall hear his voice. Let me run quickly. Yes, amen. Trumpet is important to Jews. When God told Israel to prepare to march, the first thing he said, there will be a trumpet sound. The first and the second trumpet. The first trumpet called the Jews to get ready to move. Yes. The second trumpet is a marching trumpet. No, glory to God. The believers will hear his voice. The dead shall rise first. We which are alive shall and remain shall be caught up together with to meet the Lord in the air. Now, some of us are not excited about Jesus' coming. Hello, somebody. Hello, somebody. Hallelujah. The Roman Empire. Empire. The, the, the Roman Empire. The trumpets were used to announce the arrival of a great person. Jesus' voice will be heard at the coming of the Lord. I want to announce to those of you that are listening and those of you that are in this place, praise be to God, because Jesus' voice will sound not just like a trumpet, it will sound as many watchers. Revelation 1, 10, verse 11. John said, I was in the spirit on the Lord's day. Hallelujah. And I heard behind me a what? A what? How will the dead be raised? I will hear the voice of the Lord. He said, I heard behind me on the Lord's day behind a great, somebody say great. great. A great, great, great voice. Jesus had the ability to speak to 5,000 men plus women and children without microphone. Mutabaruka, I heard him arguing with the, uh, uh, this guy and he said, how could Jesus, without amplifier, speak to um, 5,000 men plus women and children and he didn't have a microphone and an amplifier? Yes. Now, where I'm from in Danvers, St. Thomas, 
Most of you don't know where I'm talking about. If you were born in England, you don't even know where I'm from. But if you were from, from Jamaica, you don't know where I'm from because I'm from St. Thomas in that respect. Now, I came from the hill. When my grandmother is calling me, I'm way down the, the main road in the riverside, and she could call me from the hill, and I can hear every word. Amen. When she was ready to curse me, and call it all sorts of names. Glory to God. I could hear everything from where she was calling. Yes. Hallelujah. And a, a mile, over a mile, and we could hear. Yes. Many in other meeting in India, and there were over three million people in less than a mile square. He had microphone and amplifier. Glory to God. Come back to the text for me, please, Brother Harry. And I heard behind me the voice of a trumpet, as of a trumpet. Amen. He said the voice was as of a trumpet. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Verse 10. I'm at verse 10. Praise God. It was a great voice. Somebody said great voice. Amen. It was like a, as of a trumpet. Amen. Praise God. And I was in the spirit. If you're not in the spirit, you'll be none of Christ. You can't join church. No, no sir. No. Glory to God. Brother Eric, I'm going to ask you to switch. Romans 8, 9, please. Remember it says, if they were in the spirit. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Romans 8, write it down. For you are not in the flesh. That which is born of the flesh is flesh. That which is born of the spirit is spirit. John said, you're not in the flesh, but you are in the, in the spirit. Hallelujah. If so be that the spirit of God dwells in you. Now, if any man, now, if any man, you got to be careful that the spirit depart from you. Hallelujah. I said, believers must be careful lest the spirit depart from him. Amen. When David sinned and, 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 and the, the Nathan came and spoke to him, he said, take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Amen. When Samson was playing in Delilah's lap yes. and Delilah rubbed him down and gave him one massage. That's what the scripture said. I didn't say Delilah gave him a rub down yeah. with some bomb. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. You, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Aromatherapy. Yeah. And when she rubbed him down yeah. and said, the, the, the Philistines be upon you, Samson. Yeah. Samson went out. This is the same guy that killed a thousand people with one jawbone of an ass. Yeah. Of an ass. Yeah. Yes, has. He went out and he shook himself as he did at other time. What happened? Nothing. The spirit Nothing. left him and he did not know. Yeah. Oh my God. My God. My God. My God. We're talking about the resurrection here. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. It was as if the voice of a trumpet. Yes. It will be loud. How many of you have ever been to Niagara Falls? Yes. Go. Right. Close as you are to the person at Niagara Falls, you have to shout. Yes. It is the revelation said his voice will be as a sound of many waters. Yes. Many waters. Many. many waters. Somebody say many waters. Many now, waters. Niagara Falls is not the biggest fall in the world. Victoria Falls in Africa is bigger. But they don't talk about it. Amen. Glory to God. Hello. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Sister Dorcas, is that your phone? No, it sounds nice, but it's ringing at the wrong place. Whatever phone it is, please switch it on because it's ringing at the wrong time. Jesus is not, has not yet come. Praise be to God. Hallelujah. Where was I before I was so rudely interrupted? Praise God. Hallelujah. By that phone. Revelation 4, 1 to 2. Remember, uh, go, back to, go back to Romans 8, please, Brother Harry. Verse, third, verse 11. Said so you're not in the flesh, but you're in the spirit. We said if the spirit 
of him that raised Jesus Christ from the dead dwell in you. He that raised Jesus Christ from the dead shall also what? Quicken your mortal bodies by what? By the spirit that dwells in you. It's the Holy Spirit that raised Jesus. With the spirit that part from you. Daddy, here is a, a building. Speak out that light from your head for me, please, Anna. Glory to God. The light is turned off. Pick the others for me, please, Jenny. Our brother Mike. Glory to God. Amen. The building is still here while the light is gone. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes, amen. It needs a switch again to activate. Yes. The Spirit of God must dwell. Yes. You can't go living like a devil and expect the Spirit of God to dwell in you. Yes. Oh, glory to God. John said, I look again. You don't have to turn to this one, Brother Eric. He said, oh, glory. If the Spirit that raised him, Jesus, from the dead, dwell in you. Yes. Believers, it's the Holy Spirit. Amen. What kept me connected to ground right now is because it's dust, dirt, mm. hallelujah, and a thing called gravity. Mm. For you to get me up, how do you give me a space suit mm. and carry me by some spacecraft and carry me up, up there? Mm. Hallelujah. Weight is different because I'm in space and I've got space suit on. Yes. But the Bible said, Jesus shall call the believers. Yes. Look at the text. After this, John said, I looked and behold, that door was open in heaven. And the first voice, if there's a first voice, that means there's a second voice. Yes. Which I heard, as it were, a trumpet yes. talking with me. Yes. The trumpet don't talk. But the voice he heard was distinguished. Yes. Hallelujah. Next week when you come and you bring your Bible, read it. A Bible for God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Take your time with it. And the voice, like a trumpet, said, Come up hither, yes. and I will show you things. Oh, praise God. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. And I will show you things. Yes. And immediately I was in the yes. Notice you have to be in the spirit. Glory to God. Don't live like the devil. No. And expect the spirit to tarry, carry. No. It will be the voice of the archangel. Yes. Daniel 10, 13 tells us, I know you can only have one queen. You can't have a queen and king. You have one of the both. Hallelujah. Yes. And then the other is anointed. Am I right? But in Daniel 10, 30, if it don't sound right, check it in. Praise God. There is more than one archangel. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. The prince of the Persian kingdom resisted me, Michael, and one of the chief princes. Michael and one of the chief princes. That means that there's not just one. There are other chief yes. princes. Yes. Praise God. Hallelujah. Let me run because I want to close off here. Praise. What will happen at the rapture? The believers shall be caught up. 1 Thessalonians 4 verse 17. Praise be to God. Hallelujah. The word rapture, that the caught up means it's not rapture not used in English Bible, but it means glory to God. Hallelujah. Caught up means to be raptured, to be taken up. To be caught up. Hallelujah. Dr. Kenneth Swift preached on this passage, explained the various meaning of the Greek word that is translated caught up. Each of these meanings are a special truth to the doctrine of Christ. Praise God. The Greek meaning of caught up, word mean, caught up means to seize by force, to claim for one's own self. To move to a new place to rescue from danger. Praise God. You can check this out in Facebook because our sermon service will be broadcast. Let's look at the first one. Amen. To seize by force. Seize by force. It suggests that Satan and gravity will not want to let go of the believers. No. So the, the word caught up. Yes. It means you have to catch them. Yes. Oh, praise God. Praise Take them out. 
Hallelujah. Take them away from her. Does it suggest that some of the believers don't want to leave? There are some believers who don't want to leave. I've heard Christians say, I don't want to go to heaven. I don't want Jesus to come until I get married. Oh I have a friend who told me that one of her sisters loved Jesus. She loved Jesus. But she said, she always said, I don't want Jesus to come. I've never had sex. Oh my and I would like to have a little before <laughs> Jesus comes. <laughs> Praise God. There are people who are like that. Yeah. There are people who don't want to go to heaven. No, because they want to make money and they want to get married first. My God. Hallelujah. Nobody knows what I'm saying. <laughs> I am not sparing. I'm talking facts. I've heard it. You've never heard it, but I have. People don't want Jesus to come now because they want to get married first. Have a little bit of rum. <laughs> Praise God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Now, in the book of Genesis 19, 19 verse 16, when the angel went down to Lot to Solomon the mother, they wanted to get Lot and Mrs. Lot and the young daughter's Lot out, but they wouldn't, didn't want to come. The Bible said, thank you, Brother Eric, while he lingered, the angels laid hold upon their hands, hallelujah, upon the hand of his Mrs. Lot, and upon the hand of his two daughters, and the Lord being merciful unto them, he brought them forth. They didn't want to come. Now when Jesus come for the church, yes. oh glory, there must be a violent catching away. Because gravity will want to hold us down. Hallelujah. Jesus will descend from heaven with a shout. Hallelujah. It's a shout of a king. To say, let go, let go. Secondly, he means to claim one for himself. Jesus is coming for his bride. Let them that act this hope purify themselves, even as he is pure. First John 3, brother. Praise God. Hallelujah. I want to teach it because there are people today don't talk about the rapture. People want to live in and out. You're going to church, lift up holy hands. There are no holy hands now. Oh Hear what John said. Behold, what manner of love the Father hath bestowed upon us. Bestowed upon us. That we shall be called the sons of God. Therefore the world knows us not because it knew it not. Beloved, hallelujah. Glory to God. Now are we the sons of God, and it doth not yet appear, hallelujah, what we shall be like. But we know, we know, we know that when he shall appear, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. If you are not ready to meet Jesus and the presence of God is flowing in the church, you don't want to come at the front. You want to stay at the back. You watch a backslider. No matter how they were sweetly Satan at the front, Praise on the Lord. Soon as they're not ready. That's why they call backs. They call sliders back. I am not talking about any of you. Please don't misunderstand me. But we shall see him as he is. Next verse, Brother Harry. Please. And every man that hath this hope in him Glory to God. Hallelujah. Every man that hath this hope in him purify himself. In other words, there are always a temptation. The gravity to pull. Amen. Yes. If you're in an airplane and the window break and the door flung off, it drag you out. Yes. Even your chair and your seatbelt if you don't want to go. <laughs> Glory to God. <laughs> Am I talking truth, Yvonne? Amen. Yeah. I, I, I'm Glory to God. I, I like the door seat because it's, it gets a big room, but <laughs> praise God. <laughs> Hallelujah. Every man, not some, every man, God cannot compromise the death of Christ. That's why he says, if any man drink and heat the Lord.
Lord's Supper unlawfully, yes. unworthily. Yes. I'm closing. The view of the rapture from our Lord's point of view as he come to claim his own. Even as he's pure, we got to be ready. David said, have mercy upon me, O God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Have mercy upon me, O God. According to, thirdly, he's going to move them to a new place. Hallelujah. Paul used the word in 2 Corinthians 12. He said, verses 1 on, he said, I know a man, whether he was in the body or not, he was caught up into the third heaven. Caught up. He was caught up. Jesus said, I'm going to prepare a place for you. Amen. You believe in God, believe also in me. Amen. Hallelujah. He's going to take us to a glorious place. Now, some people in the here, they have big houses down in Trinidad and Barbados and Jamaica and um, Africa and all them places because they worked and prepared their homes. Yeah. One time I told the church that I was building a house Praise God in the Caribbean. I said, I have a friend that is building it for me. It was a beautiful house. When you look on the veranda, when you look on the windows, it's triple glaze, it's earthquake proof, and everybody went silent because you think it was the church money. And I continue to tell them how the house is nice. Praise God. When you look in the window, you can see the light, and I have images in there of Jesus Christ. So when you look inside and the light, the dark from outside, and the light is shining, you can see the Lord. Angels, praise God. You can see who is with him. And when you go inside and it's light inside, or it's light outside, you turn off the light out and you can see. Church gone silent. I thought it was a resurrection. <laughs> Until I said to them, my friend who is building this house for me is a lawyer, but it's Jesus Christ. Amen. And everybody came back to life. Everybody came back to life. Amen. Praise God. Fourthly, to rescue from danger. Uh, Praise God. Amen. There's a verse in Romans 8. I'm not sure if it's verse 13. It says, from the, for the sufferings of this present time. I haven't got Janet here, but the brother Howard is there, but he's not even helping me now. The sufferings of this present time. Verse 18. For I reckon, I calculate. The Christian must calculate. Glory to God. Lucy, we've got to calculate. Is this worth my losing my soul? What would a man obtain if he gained the whole world? Can I say to you, I said this morning in the first service that the, the vaccine that they're talking about is the Antichrist preparing glory to God. What you, when you go to a concert, the warm-up man, come on first. It's not the main act, come on first. Everything is the support act. They come on first. And praise God, when they come on first, they do their thing half an hour and they're gone. And then another person comes and they're gone. They're building up to greater and greater. And it's the Antichrist. The vaccine that we're talking about, the shutdown and the lockdown and all of what you're seeing. Poor Boris Johnson don't have nothing about, know nothing about science. His advice. You know who are giving the advice is the drug dealers. I'm not talking about those on Barton Street. I'm talking about the pharmaceutical companies. They are dictating what is happening in the world. And it's a preparation for the Antichrist. Praise God. Hallelujah. Sooner or later, they will say in the coming months that you cannot work in the NHS or any of the nursing homes or the whatever without a vaccine. You notice you don't have checkbooks anymore? Cards are being compromised. Hello, somebody. You have to be putting your card in and covering it up and looking to get the right number so that nobody... But a man in the car can sit down and take everything that you put in the machine. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So there are people with a chip already. Mm -hmm. They don't have no problem. They just go to a door and the door open. They go to the bank and the, the, the card machine will read them. Mm -hmm. My God. 
It's a preparation for the Antichrist. Yeah. How often we talk to people about Jesus? How often we have spoken and you have heard the gospel yeah. and you have never listened? My God. Don't be surprised one morning when you wake up and find that Jesus took his church away mm. and gone. You'll be left behind. Amen. What a week. Mm. Worship team. Mm. What a week. Mm. When I was a Christian, Yvonne, there were many times, glory to God, I'm walking on the street and I beg God, please don't take me. Don't take me away from this. I want to be ready when you come. I was baptized before. I prayed many times, but I knew I wasn't right. Jesus said, what would a man give in exchange for his soul? Stand with me, please. Lord, don't let me fail. I want to be a bride. And my faith is weak. Lord, don't let me fail. I want to be a bride when my faith is weak. Hold me by my hand when my way is hard. Only let me see there's something in my heart that the Lord has done for me.
I want to be ready. Amen. I want those of you that are listening out there on Facebook now, YouTube, I want you to be ready. Amen. We can't play church anymore. Amen. Ten virgins, five wise, five were foolish. You know why they were foolish? Amen. Because even the very hands have sense enough to prepare for some, for winter. And these did not prepare for the coming of the Lord. They were foolish. The others, whilst they, the others were enjoying themselves, the five wise virgins were praying and saying, God help me. Yes. They feel the pinch. They wanted to enjoy themselves, but they wanted to make sure. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Those of you that are listening, I beg of you. No generation listened. They heard the up. He built the harp. And none of them went in. May the Holy Spirit knock on your door right now. Listen to me. Listen to me right now. The Holy Spirit is speaking. Listen to me right now. The Holy Spirit is speaking. Jesus said the revelation. Behold, I, Jesus said in Revelation, Behold, I stand at your door. Hallelujah. And knock. Hallelujah. If any man hear, yes. the problem is they cannot hear. Yes. He said his voice was like a trumpet, but yes. it's like the sound of many waters. He said, If any man hear, yes. you can hear right now. Yes. You can do yes. one of two things reject what you have heard. Yes. But his God will shut the door. Proverbs 1, 21, because I call and you refuse. I stretched forth my hand in no man regard. You mocked at my counsel. You laughed at the counsel. You walked away as if God was not one that matters. Don't sacrifice pleasure. The scripture said in Hebrews, it says Isaac sought repentance with tears, bitter tears. Amen. Father, I give you thanks and praise. Amen. I give you thanks and praise for your words today. I thank you for the truth of your words. God Almighty, he breaks like a mountain. It accomplishes that which you please. I pray right now that your word will accomplish. Those that are listening here, God, let them be not so foolish when they miss the boat. We give you the praise, we give you the glory. In Jesus' name. Amen. All of you that are listening, all you have to say, Jesus, come into my heart. Amen. That's what I did in 1972. And I did not cry, I did not have any thing running down my nostrils. There was no, no mouth, whatever thought. All I did, I said, Jesus, come into my heart. <coughs> I, did, I did just exactly what a couple would have done. They come down the aisle, Jane, Jane Brown and Bobby Jones. And the preacher said, do you take this woman to be a lawful wedding? He said, I do. Do you take this man to be your lawful wedding husband? He said, I do. And after a few I do, and I will, he said, I pronounce you man and wife. They left. When you come to Jesus, he said, I will in no wise cast you out. God bless you. I pray that you'll be wise. I pray that you'll be wise and shine like a star. God bless you. Amen. The rule is we come in this way and we go out that way. Glory to God. Yes, sir. The Lord's offering. Thank you for the hour. Praise be to God because everybody reminds me. Praise the Lord. So remember the Lord's offering. So you, um, you probably want to share a little fellowship with the worship team is going to take over. And, and Carol will pronounce the benediction. But God bless you. Carol. Praise
Hallelujah. We're just going to, um, we're going to give our offering, our tithes and offerings to the Lord. So if you want to come forward and if you want to exit to my left um, afterwards, please do so. Um, obviously, if you're going to talk with anyone before you leave, um, obviously that will be the exit um, as you go. So as you go, then you can leave your offering if you wish and then exit out to my left, which is your right. Hallelujah. Um, and also, please remember to use the sanitizer as you leave also. All right? God bless you. Before we finish, on, especially on Facebook, I want to say hello to my little sister, Tessa. Tessa, we are here praying for you. God bless you. I know you're watching. You said you were watching. Yes. Amen. We know we're watching. You said you're watching. God bless you. And also a big, big shout out to Sister Anderson there at Central Road. She also uh, gave me a call and she said that one time in the park, she felt as if I was waving to her. So here's your own personal wave, Sister Andy. God bless you. Keep watching. God bless you. Sister Flo. Uh oh. How can I Sister forget my Flo. grandma? Amen. Sister Flo. God bless you. Here's your own personal way. And for all those. Uh oh. We can't, we can't keep going. Sister Watts. Bless you, my darling. I love you to the max. And everybody else out there that is watching on Facebook, may God continue to bless you. Here's your personal way. I love you all. God bless you. And my peoples as well that are at the Nuffield, I know they've been watching and watching every time I stream it. So God bless you and thank you for your encouragement. Every time I go back to work, you always have something good to say. I'm sure and I'm glad that you've been blessed this morning. So we're gonna um, we're gonna finish off the service this morning and we're gonna sing Days of Elijah, which I think is quite apt actually because we left the park and we sang it last week, but we're gonna sing it in the sanctuary today. And we're going to sing, these are the days of Elijah as we finish the service. May God bless you all. Hallelujah. These are the days of Elijah.
service this morning by just giving God thanks. Glory to God. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we give you honor and we give you praise. Lord God, for the offering and also, oh God, for the service. Lord, I pray, almighty God, if we don't meet in here again, Lord God, it will be a day in heaven that we meet up together. And we thank you, oh God, for being here, oh God, in our presence, Lord Jesus. We know, oh God, that you are here in this service. And we thank you for your words that came straight from the throne of God. So, Lord, as we leave this sanctuary this morning, this afternoon, I pray, almighty God, that you'll go with each and every one. Those that are on Facebook, those that are in their homes that have heard you, oh God, have heard the words of you this morning. I pray, almighty God, that their hearts will bless, Lord God, and that they will continue to be blessed. Lord, I pray, almighty God, for my sister Tessa that's in Bristol right now. Lord, cover in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord God, you have taken her through. Lord God, a, a massive operation, open heart surgery, and Lord, here she is, alive and well, smiling at the storm. The devil couldn't hold her down because she is almighty God, your child, and you have held her with your right arm. Lord God, I pray, almighty God, right now, for those, oh God, that couldn't be here. Lord, I pray, almighty God, that you'll continue to be with them all, now and forevermore. Now may the saving grace of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, full fellowship and communion of the Holy Spirit, the Comforter, rest, remain, and abide with us all, now and forevermore. And the people say, Amen. And the people say, Amen. One more time, the people say, Amen. Amen. Amen and amen. Go in peace. God bless you. God bless you all. May God continue to bless you, one and all. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Amen.